was looking at myself in the mirror and I was like, oh my goodness, I have broccoli stuck in my teeth. And then I was like meant to feel embarrassed. And then it occurred to me that anything that gives away the fact that you're an animal is seen as unacceptable. Whipping, cutting, stomach growling, you know, food stuck in your teeth, nails looking like skin having acne, skin peeling, or skin being different colors. How dare you betray the fact that underneath it all, you're just an animal <laughs> like listen but of course it's gendered even further because obviously like women and fans and stuff we're not allowed to you know betray the fact that we're actually literally animals <laughs> oh dare you give it away we are now cosplaying as cyborgs you know we are animals cosplaying as like super animals but we're just animals <laughs> It's actually ridiculous and unacceptable. Like at all moments, I must pretend. I must groom myself. I mustn't be hairy. I mustn't betray. I love this word, this language. It's doing it for me. The fact that I'm a human being. Sorry, the fact that I'm an animal. We need to reclaim our spot in the animal kingdom, okay? Until we can all be safe in our animalistic traits, we'll not be free. And also anti-blackness as a project, okay, is so tied to dehumanization and the animalization of black people. And in response, we shouldn't be like, no, 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 we're not animals. We should be like, we all are animals, actually.